Immediately after dropping our luggage at the Four Star Monarch Hotel, we hopped in a cab to explore the capital city of Amman. With a population of 4 million living in a city the size of Greater Los Angeles, Amman is crowded. A few glistening high-rises juxtapose the endless sea of beige box buildings blanket the hills. These sand-colored rectangle structures are like stacks of shoeboxes at Payless. Utilitarian in function and form, the three to five story buildings have mom and pop shops on the ground floor with residential flats above. Yeah, these very narrow streets. Walking along the bustling streets of downtown Amman was captivating. We were embraced with a cacophony of unfamiliar sights and sounds and smells, our overloaded senses trying to process the newness of it all, new language, new tastes, new cadence of life, new culture. I love international travel. In some ways, Amman sounds like New York with distant car horns and beeps, conversations in a foreign language, with pedestrians filling the sidewalks and traversing the streets, some with a hurried agenda, most in a casual stroll, all friendly and safe. Traffic follows the American directions with lane lines that seem more like guidelines. Walking down one street, we pass by a line of plastic tables with foldable legs. Each table was covered with all sorts of important goods like watches, phones, toys, honey, all at best prices with shopping hours from sunup to sundown. One storefront novelty shop sold popular stuffed animals and dolls and plastic AK-47 guns. A large days of the week wall hanger reminded me that in many Muslim countries, the work week begins with Sunday. Church gatherings happen on Friday. A makeshift garment district was set up on the large patio entrance of a mosque. The space was crowded with locals picking through the clothes, mostly men, a few kids, a few women. The women wear a hijab, white or dark colored, nothing bright or showy, much simpler fashion than in Dubai. Garments on the patio sale included down jackets, package sets of men's underwear, Hanes or Under Armour, jogging outfits, pants, sweats, sweaters. It reminded me of a church rummage sale. A few narrow one-way streets pass through the souks, which are a cluster of shopping areas with similar goods such as the vegetable souk or the jewelry souk or shoes or toys. The downtown area is concrete urban with very few green spaces. A mural two stories tall decorated the side of a building appeared to advertise something, but the message was unclear to me. There was no graffiti. The walkways are very clean, dusty, but clean. With all this exploring, my stomach yelled out, let's eat. A four-star Yelp review led us to Hashem Rest, known for their hummus and mansaf, a traditional dish served on a large platter meant for communal eating. At Hashim, the word restaurant was too long for their neon side, but the word rest seemed to fit our weary condition. Let's rest. We chose a patio table facing the sidewalk and watched the Jordanian street life unfold before our curious eyes. The waiter soon put down a huge plate of hummus, vegetables, and falafel sticks. Our appetites were matched, giving us plenty of time to visually unpack a typical Amman neighborhood.